this is going to be a quick start tutorial for Flex Display. What you see on the screen right now is a screenshot of the output of Flex Display. I'm going to overlay areas that are configurable for Flex Display. At the top left is the logo area. Then you have the title and subtitle area. Animations is a special case where you can put animations anywhere on the background. Five day weather forecast. The panel area, in this case there are three panels. Uh, the first two are pictures and the third is a video. And then at the bottom, scrolling messages. I want you to notice that the current configuration viewer at the top here looks very similar to what I just showed you. It is iconized, but you have a logo, title, subtitle, a weather icon, three panels, and messages. To change the look and feel of the output, all you have to do is go to this configuration library, select one, and just drag it into the current configuration viewer. You can see now that I have changed many things, including the background and title, title fonts. If you like what you see here, you can move on to step two, but we allow you to customize each one of these items. Let me show you how. In step 1a, I'm going to hit this button, display background, logo, title, weather, and date. And so let me change the display background. I'm going to go to the bottom here and hit the forward button until I find a background that I like in the background library. Just pick this dark blue one and all we have to do is drag it into the display background. Logo library is similar. You just drag it into the logo area. We we'll use this fish. To change the title, all you have to do is click onto these text boxes and change the text. I'm going to show you how to change the color and font. Let's change it to yellow. And we'll do the subtitle to yellow as well. And you have the choice of small, medium, or large. And we'll stick with medium. The weather and date is uh, it's just, just a checkbox on and off. And when it's on, you need a zip code. You can choose an icon background color or just leave it transparent. We'll leave it transparent. You have five icon styles. And let's pick this one, three, add a little more color. And the text color itself right now is set for white but you can change its color its text color so we'll leave it white and we'll hit return to main now notice that in the current configuration view where all the changes that we just made are shown the background the title is in yellow uh, the logo for example now we're going to move on to the panel layouts and so there's a button here and i'm going to hit this button called panel layout and you notice that in panel one, the frame is off. So I'm going to turn the frame on by checking this button. Once you turn the frame on, you can take a panel background and just drag it in. You can see now that uh, it, the background of flowers are in there. You, type, you click the center here and you can make the picture stretch to the size of the panel or if you hit normal, it just maintains its normal aspect ratio. Let's, let's use stretch. Going on to panel two here, the, the title is on. And you can change the justification of the title by on this toggle here, right, left, or center. You can also change the text and, so, uh, text and color. And so let's change the text here. You can also change the color. Uh, so you can also change the color of the panel uh, title by just clicking onto the panel. I'll do this panel four, and you, I will use a blue here. 
or you can remove a, a background just by dragging it into the trash can. Um, I did that for panel two. And then if you click onto the this background color only, you can change the background color. So we'll use pink here. All right, you have we have other options such as shadows on and off, and when you turn on the shadow, you can change its length. Also, rounded corners or square corners, and you can change the roundedness. So that will show you what. Well. Now, if you go back to the main menu, you can see that the changes that I made are shown in the current configuration viewer. At any point in time, you can save your work by simply taking the current configuration viewer and dragging it into the current configuration library, and now that's all saved. Okay. You can also delete by dragging it into the trash can. All right, so let's go to step two. And you can now change the panel placement and the number of panels. So if you want a one panel, just hit one panel. You can see here the current configured viewer shows one panel. I'm going to use four panels, so let's use this four panel. And not only can you select four panels, you can actually change the placement of the panels by hitting this edit button here at the bottom. And you can see now the, the four panels. I'm going to say skinny up panel one uh, and I did that through mouse mouse dragging uh, you can also do it by just uh, typing in so I'm going to to match the uh, the exposition of panel one 4.6 and then the width 14.1 you can see that it changed panel two to match panel one once you're happy with what you got, uh, you can hit Save Modification. And it's reflected now in the current configuration viewer. You also have the option of creating different panel, panel placements up to four by hitting this Add Custom. So I'm going to save my work one more time, and I'll just drag it into the configuration library, and I'm going to delete the old one. You can see it's saved. Okay, so this current configuration viewer applies to step one, step 1a, and 2. We're now going to move to the content, which has a different viewer. So let's hit this panel content. In this viewer, it's by panel, and so the key is this top row here. Right now, it's pre-selected to panel one. You can see there's a number of rooms. Then panel two, you can see this display here that shows you where panel two is. Panel three, and then panel four. Now in panel one, you can see that there's already pictures in here, and they will each, each be on for five seconds with no transitions. If you go to panel two, we have five pictures, and the transitions right now are fade. So all you have to do is uh, let's change it to turn by a drop down. And let's say I want to remove a dog. You just drag it into uh, the trash can. And I want to add, let's say, um, I don't know, add this, this picture here. Now I need to also change it to turn to make them all the same. And I change the duration to three seconds. OK. And let's say I change my mind again. So I'm going to remove it and take that black dog and put it back in. Put it back to turn and three seconds. That's how easy it is. Okay, I'm going to show you a trick. Let's say we want to swap panels. So all you have to do is take this panel one 
and put it into panel 2. And notice now panel 2 has those five pictures and panel, panel 2 has the various rooms. Panel 3 right now has a DVD and I'll just remove it and then you just drag this DVD into here and it's going to show a DVD. Panel 4 has um, a couple of videos and a dog. Let's let's uh, let's go. Let's I'll show you how to add a video. It's very easy. You hit this add from file. Find the video you like. Uh, let's go with uh, let's see here. Introducing Excelident. Open that. And there it is. And you can if you hover over this icon here. Uh, you can see this thing called Introducing Excelident. It's 90 seconds long with its resolution. So we're just going to drag it into this area. And I'm going to take uh, this black dog and put it in here. Now let's, uh, I'll show you how to uh, add, add a picture. You just hit this Add to Library, hit Desktop, and I got that dog and I can put a caption by just clicking the caption area. Type in a DV. Submit and then I can use it. Okay, let's say you like this panel content and so you want to save it. So you hit the save button and then type a name. We'll call it Ortho 3. Save it. And then you make some other changes, like I'll add this in-house. Um, and if I load what what Ortho 3 is, that should go back to where it was, which it does. So that allows you to save the panel content work. Now this Add from YouTube is a very nice feature. We can add video libraries from YouTube. And there will be another video that will explain how to do that. Okay, we're going to return to main menu, and now we'll move on to scrolling messages. And the first thing you'll see in scrolling messages is a bunch of checkboxes. The checkboxes represent those items that will actually be displayed at the bottom of the screen. So any, anything that's not checked will not be displayed. So if I do this, uh, only the last two will be displayed, and the top three will not. So let's uh, let's do that. Now let's say I want to delete a item. So I click onto that item. It's selected, and I just hit this delete button here. Okay. I want to add. I hit an, hit this add button, and then I can then just type in something. This is a scrolling message test. And the effect is over here, and I just select one, like split. Okay, so now, notice it's not selected, so I'm going to select it. You have other options here that are fairly straightforward. Uh, I'll show you one called move down, which basically changes the order or move up. And you also can do uh, set the speed of the scrolling messages and the dwell time. To change is uh, text, color, and font. And then there is one feature here called continuous scrolling. So this is the case where you don't want any effects and you just want a continuous scrolling of all the messages. And notice now uh, when you click the button, all of them become continuous scrolling. When you unclick it, it goes back to the default effects. Okay, animations. We'll hit that one. Animations. Uh, there will be another video that, again, will will teach you how to add animations from YouTube. They need to be blue or green screen, and also how to actually remove that blue or green screen from the animations. But once you have done it, uh, it will be put into this animation library, and then it's just a matter of dragging entries in or out of the, the animal con animation content. So I just dragged a dog in and let's say I want to change its position. I hit this edit position 
I'm sorry. Okay, I'll click the dog, edit position, and I'm gonna make him a little bit skinnier. Like this. And when I'm happy, I'm gonna submit both to the library and to content. You can see it changed up here. Okay, before we uh, actually show our work here, I want to mention two more things. We have a feature called the scheduler, which allows you to turn on and off flex display by time and then by day. In addition, we have uh, a feature called port configuration to other computers, which after you have chosen your configuration and you'd like other computers to have that configuration, it allows you to port uh, this configuration to any number of other computers on the network. Also, if you're away from your network and you'd like to save your configuration to a flash drive and then load it back to a computer through a flash drive, it allows you to do that as well. Okay, so let's hit uh, Run Flex Display. And you now see uh, the logo with the title and subtitle, the five-day forecast, the animation of the cat, four panels with various backgrounds and transitions, and then the scrolling message on the bottom with different effects. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial.